Hi, welcome back to another quick guide. Today I'll teach you how to fix Windows Defender service not found. And it's literally an easy process, so make sure to watch until the end of the video to know how it's done. If you're encountering an issue where the Windows Defender service is not found, there are several steps you can take to troubleshoot and resolve the issue. And here's a general guide. The first step would be, sometimes a simple restart can't resolve service related issues. Go ahead and restart your PC and check if the Windows Defender service is back. Next step, press Win plus R to open the run dialog. Type services.msc and press enter. Look for the Windows Defender antivirus service in the list. Double click on it to open its properties. Ensure that the startup type is set to automatic and the service status is set to running. Another step, open Windows Security, Windows Defender from the start menu. Go to the virus and threat protection. Under current threats, choose scan options. Choose Windows Defender offline scan and click scan now. Next step, press Win plus R to open the run dialog. Type gpedit.msc and hit enter. Navigate to computer configuration, administrative templates, Windows components, Windows Defender antivirus, Check the settings related to Windows Defender. Make sure they are set to not configured or disabled. Another step, open command prompt as an administrator. Type the following command and hit enter. You can find the command prompt in the description below. Just copy and paste it. This will remove the existing definition files. Another step. Open command prompt as an administrator. Run the following commands. Just copy and paste the code on the description below. Wait for the scans to complete. And follow any on-screen instructions. Next step. Run a full system scan with a reliable antivirus or anti-malware program to ensure your system is not infected. Another step, ensure that your Windows operating system is up to date by installing the latest updates from Windows Update. If the issue persists after trying these steps, you may want to seek help from Microsoft support or community forums for more specialized assistance as there could be system specific factors contributing to the problem. And that's all for now folks, hope you like and subscribe, thank you.